Hello everyone, welcome to TechTut. In this question, we have been given a relational algebraic expression. Now we have to find out out of these given options which one is equivalent to this expression. Fine. So let's first analyze this expression. We have been, I mean, we have a cross product of two relation R and S, and here this is select operation, right? So we are selecting over the condition C equal to D, right? So here we have R cross S and we are selecting tuples or rows on the basis of this condition C equal to D, right? So up to here it is fine. So it will return a relation in which all the attributes of R and S are present. Okay. And then finally what we are doing is we are selecting, I mean we are projecting A and B, right? So A and B we are taking out. So for example, if we have relation R with attribute A, B, C, okay, and we have at S with attribute, let's say T, E and F, right? So what we'll have after taking this cross product, we will get a relation, intermediate relation R cross S, which will have A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? And it will compare, I mean, it will, once we have the select, it will only return those rows for which the C is equal to D, fine? Now, so we have a relation here up to this step, we have a relation in which there are six attributes, but we have to filter out and we, we want only a and B, right? So we will use this project operation, I mean project operator and we will just take A and B out, fine. So it will also return a relation, right? So I'll have R, I'm writing it R O or R out, fine. So this is also a relation. What does it mean when I'm saying relation? It means even if there are two, uh, two rows for which A and B are having same value that is let's say in my result I am getting A1, B2 and A1, B2 two times then it will only it will only display one uh, one result that is it will be a set and no value will be repeated right fine so let's go to the option here we have select A and B first of all let's discard few option so see this is here select C and D right so this is I mean we can directly say that this is wrong because the output is not C and D it's A and B right so this is wrong similarly C and D this is wrong okay fine now we have two things and the only difference is this distinct keyword okay here we don't have this distinct keyword here it is distinct so we have to select the correct option now as I said this algebraic expression is returning a set and set has only unique values okay it, it don't have any repeat repeated value okay so it is basically distinct fine but in SQL if you run the query you can get duplicate rows fine so it will return distinct value only after you use this distinct keyword fine so this fourth of that is this D option will be equivalent to this algebraic expression fine